Well, this morning I'd like to welcome Pastor Freddie. Would you please come up? And Jen, would you come and, and join him as well? Welcome Pastor Freddie to our stage this morning. Um, I have, a, I have a, a stand for here. Jen, do you, can, do you mind grabbing that stand real quick? Would that be helpful there? Yeah, Pastor Thank Freddie, you. welcome to Meadow Park. We are Thank so you. glad that you are here today. I remember being in your church in La Concepcion, mm -hmm. seeing the work that you're doing there. And one of the things that we love about partnering with, with Heart to Honduras is the way that they approach um, just reaching out and ministering to the community. They don't just uh, say, hey, come from America, get, bring money, and, and do some projects. Their philosophy of ministry is, let's see what the resources are in our community. What are the needs that are right here, and how can we as a people in our community help meet those needs uh, ourselves as best we can? And how can we partner, not just as a church, but with the government, with the city, with, with other businesses, and seeing what we can do together, and then come alongside with the church and with, uh, with partners like, uh, like Meadow Park and other churches that help in that process. And we have a long-term goal with Heart to Honduras to partner in a city called, uh, in a village called Las Lomitas. And we want to have a long-term relationship there to invest over years into the same village, into the same place, into these same people. And so we're really excited to do that. And, and Pastor Freddie is one of the local pastors there and has already modeled this type of community transformation right in his own city. And we see people that are, that are coming and are not just growing in the word of God and of faith, which is so important, but they're also learning skills and, and developing uh, resources within the community for change. And so we're really excited to have uh, Pastor Freddie here on behalf of Heart to Honduras and his church. And Jen, thank you for being here as well from uh, sister congregation here in town from um, Upper Arlington Lutheran Church. And uh, we, uh, who are also partners with uh, Heart to Honduras, and so we partnered together on the, the 5K yesterday and here today. So sorry, that's a long introduction, but I, I believe in what you're doing. And uh, they don't want to hear from me today. We want to hear from you today. So, and we want to hear from God. All right. Yes, take care. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. It's so glad to be here with every one of you. Um, from Honduras people, I want to say thank you so much for your partnership. Thank you. From Las Lomitas, from the people from Las Lomitas, I want to say thank you. The people from Las Lomitas miss the group. They are waiting for you there <laughs> because our ministry, like Pastor Marco said, is about relationship. It's not about money. It's about relationship. The kingdom of God is about relationship. Yes? You know, the, the, the development that we are, we are promoting is just it's about project, water project, it's about school project. But the more important for us is about people. Amen? It's not just about concrete. It's about people. We are doing a holistic mm -hmm. mission. Because the gospel is, a, is holistic. It's a holistic mission. And thank you for being a holistic church. Amen? Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, thank you because yesterday, Pastor Shannon, thank you for your help and for give us the opportunity to have here uh, uh, Corriendo Juntos, or <laughs> together. together, together running. I have my bike. It's, it's more easy for me. <laughs> he, he rode a tandem bike yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much. Cuando Pastor Marcos hablabas de la experiencia hace 20 años. So when Pastor Mark was speaking just recently about the experience in 9-11 20 years ago, Hacía memoria de cómo nosotros hemos sido la generación que ha experimentado cosas muy difíciles. It just kind of brings to mind to him that we are a generation nowadays that we have experienced a lot of difficult times. Hemos vivido cosas muy dolorosas, muy tristes. We have seen painful things and we have experienced sadness. Y nosotros desde Honduras hemos estado muy solidarios con el pueblo de Estados Unidos, con la iglesia de Estados Unidos. And us from Honduras are in solidarity with you. We are supporting you from Honduras. Nuestras oraciones han estado con ustedes. Our prayers have been with you. Hemos llorado también. We have cried with you. Porque nosotros 
hemos sido también impactados por la iglesia de Estados Unidos. Because we have been so impacted by our relationship with you, the church here in the United States. Y es, y es una, es una, es una uh, historia de transformación. It's a beautiful story of transformation, our relationship with you. Y, es, y estamos muy unidos. We're very united. Ustedes son blancos y más grandes que yo. He says, even though you guys are white and much taller than I am. <laughs> pero yo soy más guapo. ¿Qué? No, no, yo soy más guapo, pero no digas oh. eso. <laughs> he says he's more handsome, but doesn't want me to repeat that. <laughs> oh. Hemos, hemos... Como tú decías, Pastor Marco, hemos, hemos sufrido, hace un año, hace un tiempo atrás, Honduras fue golpeada por dos huracanes. He says, you know, as we were talking about suffering, we too have suffered, as you all know, Honduras about a year ago was struck by two different hurricanes. Y estábamos en medio de la pandemia. And we were halfway through the pandemic. Puedes, puedes imaginarte cómo, cómo, cómo tuvimos que hacer. You can all imagine how we were feeling and what we had to do sin tener la logística que se debe de tener without having the, the ability or the eye to know what to do sin que el gobierno tenga los recursos que tiene que tener para enfrentar estos desastres without having really the support from the government to provide the resources that we needed to do what, to get through this todo era un caos everything was chaos y perdimos mucho and we did lose a lot los ríos se llevaban casas enteras. The, the water would come through, the rivers that were formed would come through and would take houses whole. Tú podías ver las camas, lo, las, las ollas de cocina y todo por los ríos llevándose. Everything was just flowing by, beds and pots and pans from your kitchen. Animales. Even animals. Gente tratando de salir del, del caos. So people trying to save themselves. Y en medio de la pandemia, COVID. And in the middle of a pandemic. Pero Dios ha estado con nosotros. But God was with us every step of the way. Los ríos pudieron llevarse un montón de cosas. The rivers were able to take a bunch of physical things with them. Pero no se llevaron nuestra fe. But they did not take our faith. <laughs> no se llevaron nuestro gozo. They did not take our joy. Y estamos aprendiendo a entender mejor lo que dice Romanos 8, 28. And we are starting to understand better what Romans 8, 28 says. Que a los que amamos a Dios, that those who love God, todas las cosas, everything, todas, everything, digan conmigo todas las cosas. Say everything with me. Everything? everything. Yes, everything. <laughs> Todas las cosas nos ayudan para bien. Everything God does for us is for the good. ¿Ustedes creen en esa, en esa palabra? Do you believe in that word? Do you believe? <laughs> Pero tú sabes qué difícil es procesar esas palabras en medio de la crisis. But as you can imagine, it is so difficult to be able to process those words in the middle of a crisis. It's not easy. No es fácil. <laughs> Todas las cosas que han pasado en Norteamérica. Everything that's happened here in the United States. Todas las cosas que están pasando en Honduras. All the things that are happening back home in Honduras. En Haití. In Haiti. En Afghanistan. In Afghanistan. En todo el mundo. And throughout the entire world. Y en medio de todo esto, and in the middle of it all, Dios está obrando. God is working. God is working. God is working. <laughs> Yo no sé qué es lo que está pasando en, en, en Meadow Park, Church of God. He's like, I'm not really sure what's happening right now or what you're going through here at Meadow Park. Pero en medio de lo que está pasando aquí, but in the middle of anything and everything that's happening right here, Dios está obrando. God is working and God is here. God is working here. <laughs> Su presencia está aquí. His presence is here. Su presencia está aquí. 
Y él tiene propósito para esta iglesia. And he has a purpose for this church. Solo tenemos que creer la, su palabra. We just need to believe in his word. Y entender and understand cómo todo lo que está pasando how everything that is happening va a ayudar para bien works for the good. A cada familia. In each family. A cada uno de ustedes. In each one of you. Yo estoy convencido I am convinced que les va a ayudar para bien that he is going to work for the good. Para que puedan crecer en unidad. So that you can grow in unity. Para que puedan crecer como una comunidad de fe. So you can grow in a community of faith. Para que puedan pasar más tiempo juntos. So that you can spend and be able to spend more time together. Amen. Amen. Para que puedan crecer en su fe. So that you may be able to grow in your faith. En lo personal, a mí me han pasado muchas cosas. Personally, in my personal life, many things have happened to me. Hace 15 días. 15 days ago. Mi familia y yo estábamos fuera de casa. His family and him were out of the house. Solo una hora nos, nos fuimos de casa, una hora. They left for one hour. They were out for an hour. Y eso fue lo que necesitaron los ladrones para entrar a mi casa. And that's what, that's all it took for thieves to come into my home and steal from my house. Entraron a mi casa. They entered my home. Llevaron muchas cosas. Took a lot of things with them. Mis computadoras. The computer. Todo lo electrónico que había Anything en casa. Anything electronic in my house. Cuando mi familia y yo llegamos a casa. When they returned home. Encontramos un caos. It was, it was chaos. It was a mess. Yo me puse nervioso. And he became very nervous. Porque llevo 20 años en la concepción. Because he's been in that town, the Concepcion, for 20 years. Y es primera vez que me pasa and eso. And that's the first time that's ever happened. Pero no es, no es gente local. It's not people, local people. Gente viene de otros lugares. P people come into their town. Por la crisis que está ahorita en Honduras. Because of the crisis that people are in right now. Y, y eso, es como, eso es como un efecto de la crisis. And it's like an effect of what's happening in their country, the crisis that their country is in right now. Y empezamos a ver todo lo que se habían llevado los, los amigos, los ladrones. And we started to take notice of everything that they had taken. Oh. Luego nos reunimos como familia. And then they gathered together as a family. Nos tomamos de la mano. They held hands. Y dijimos, Señor, gracias. And they thanked God. Nosotros perdonamos a esta persona. We forgive those people. Porque no estamos aquí para juzgar o condenar a otros. Because we are not here to judge others. No estoy aquí para condenar a otros. We are not here to condemn others. No estoy aquí para señalar. I'm not here to point out people. Estamos aquí para perdonar y amar a la gente. We are here to forgive and love people. Como familia perdimos muchas cosas. As a family, we lost many things. Ellos se llevaron muchas cosas. They took a lot of things. Pero no se llevaron mi fe. But they could not take our faith. No se llevaron mi gozo. They cannot take his joy. Y en medio de esa experiencia que estaba pasando en mi casa. In the middle of that experience that he was having. Dios estaba obrando. God was working. He was there. Dios estaba ahí en mi casa. God was in his home. Porque a los que amamos a Dios. Because those of us who love God. Todas las cosas. Everything. Nos ayudan a bien. Works for the good. Ahora, now, yo he crecido en perdonar. I have grown in my ability to forgive. Mi familia creció, se fortaleció en perdonar. My family has learned and grown in strength to be able to forgive. En amar. In loving people. Y hemos aceptado. And we have accepted. Lo que Dios está permitiendo para nuestra vida. What God is allowing to take place in our life. Y eso era lo que Pablo le estaba diciendo a los romanos. And that's what he was speaking to, uh, to the Romans. Porque en ese momento, Pablo estaba enfrentando persecución, hambre, crisis, tribulación, muchas cosas. Because uh, Paul is uh, experiencing a lot of persecution, a lot of pain, a lot of different things. Y Pablo lo dijo, ¿saben qué? He's, and he said, you know what? En medio de todo esto, in the midst of everything, somos más que vencedores. We are more than winners and conquerors. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Ese es el sentir que tiene que ver aquí en, en, en la iglesia. That is the uh, feeling that we should have here in the church. Toca a la persona que tienes a tu lado y dile, tú eres más que un vencedor. Say, turn to the person next to you, touch them on the shoulder and say, you are more than a conqueror. Come on. Dile, tú eres más que un vencedor. <laughs> <You're>... 
Pastor Mark, tú, Mark, tú eres más que un vencedor. You are more than just a conqueror. Más que un vencedor. Cada familia que aquí es una familia vencedora. Every family here is a conqueror. Y nada ni nadie nos va a detener. And nothing is going to stop us. Porque si Dios es con nosotros. Because if God is with us and in oh, us. Oh, si Dios es con nosotros. If God, if God is with us. ¿Quién contra nosotros? Who can be against us? ¿Quién contra nosotros? <laughs> Aleluya. Aleluya. Sé que COVID es una pandemia muy difícil y que produce mucho temor. And I know that going through COVID has been a really difficult time and I know it can produce a lot of fear. Pero tenemos que aprender but we have to learn a sacarle lo bueno a todo esto. To be able to take something good from all of this. ¿Le está sacando algo bueno a esto que está pasando en tu vida? He's wondering if you have been able to take something good from all that's been happening for the last year and a half. Porque cuando Pablo dice, todo te ayuda para bien. Because when it says in Romans that everything works for good. Es todo. That means everything. No solo algunas cosas. Not only some things. Te ayuda para bien la enfermedad como la salud. Because God works all things for good in illness and in health. En la calma como en la tormenta. In the calm times or when you're going through the storm. Si aquellos discípulos no hubieran tenido la experiencia de la tormenta con Jesús en la barca. If the disciples hadn't experienced that experience of being in the storm with Jesus in the boat. ¿Recuerdan esa experiencia? Do you remember that experience in the boat with the disciples? Yeah. <laughs> si los discípulos no hubieran pasado por esa tormenta. If those disciples had not experienced that time with Jesus in the boat, no hubieran conocido, they un, would not have been able to know una nueva dimensión del poder de Cristo. A whole different dimension of the power of God. Amen. <laughs> Pero ellos estuvieron allí. So they were there. Y ellos conocieron el poder de Jesús. And they were able to see and experience God's power. Y es muy importante que nosotros lo veamos desde esa perspectiva. And it's very important that we often view things from that perspective. Cuando estés pasando cosas difíciles, when you go through difficult times, sácales provecho, sácales el jugo. Nosotros decimos sácales el jugo. Okay. Oh. Hmm. He's literally saying take out the juice, but take out the, the, the meaty, the important things from the experience. No permitas que las cosas difíciles Don't allow that all those difficult things No permitas que las cosas tristes Don't allow that all the sadness que suceden en tu vida that is happening te conviertan en una persona amargada that um, turn you into a bitter person o te conviertan en una persona enojada or just to be angry o te conviertan en una persona que no quiere estar con nadie or to become isolated no longer wanting to be with others Asegúrate you gotta be reassured que cada cosa que estás experimentando en este momento that everything that you go through y que las cosas que van a pasar en el futuro and the things that we don't even know yet about sean para tu bien is going to be for your good para crecer tu fe to grow your faith para fortalecer tu carácter to strengthen your cristiano. character your Christian character Amen. Amen. y que todos juntos and that everybody together podamos avanzar hacia la meta. That we could together advance to that goal. Porque Dios está con nosotros. Because God is with us. Él ha prometido estar con nosotros. He has promised to be with us. Él ha prometido ir delante de nosotros. He has promised to go before us. Y si Él está con nosotros. And if He is with us. Vamos a cruzar y vamos a llegar al otro lado. We will reach that goal. Así que esta mañana quiero decirte. So this morning I want to tell you que nos vemos del otro lado. That we will see each other one day again. Amen. Pastor Mark, nos vemos del otro lado. Shannon, nos veremos del otro lado. I will see you soon on the other side, perhaps, but I will see you soon. <laughs> Amen. Eso quería compartir con ustedes. That's what I would like to share with you this morning. Porque quiero respetar su tiempo. Because I want to respect your time. En Honduras me faltarían 60 minutos. He says, in Honduras, he could go for another hour. <laughs> 
He says, Mark says you can go. Uh, yeah, eso I'm speaking to him in English. Eso dices tú, pero él dice que si, si quiere hablar más, puede hablar más. Eso dices tú, pero los demás. He goes, yeah, that's what Pastor Mark says, but what about the rest of you? <laughs> I love you. I love you. Um, we were waiting for you in Honduras. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Yeah? Maybe. Maybe. Y poder tener la oportunidad de estar juntos en las lomitas. He says, and I look forward to the opportunity to be together with you in Las Lomitas. La gente de Las Lomitas les envía muchos saludos a ustedes. The people from Honduras, specifically the people in Los, Las Lomitas, send their greeting to you. Y les han extrañado también. And they have missed you. Pero ellos entienden también la situación que está pasando en el mundo. But they too understand the situation that we're all in. Así que estaremos orando. So we are praying. Para que ustedes puedan viajar nuevamente. So you guys will be able to travel. ¿Verdad? Y ser parte de esta historia, de esta experiencia transformacional. So this is part of our story. This is part of our transformational story between Las Lomitas and here. Yeah. Si nosotros queremos ser compañeros de ustedes, so if we truly want to be partners with you, yo quiero ser parte de una experiencia transformacional. I want to be a part of a transformational story. Yo no solamente quiero ver transformación en el, en el lado de Honduras. It's like, I don't only want to see transformation happen in Honduras. No quiero ser egoísta. I don't want to be selfish. Yo quiero ver transformación acá. I want to see your story transforming as well here in the United States in Meadow Park. Quiero ver transformación en Meadow Park. Church of God. Amen. Amen. Yo quiero ser parte de su transformación también. He too wants to be part of your story. Estaré orando por ustedes. He will be praying for you. Y oramos en este momento. And let's pray now together. Padre, gracias en esta mañana por la oportunidad que me has dado de estar con mis hermanos aquí en, en Meadow Park. Gracias, Señor, porque tú eres fiel. Gracias por tu gran amor, por tu gran misericordia. Gracias por Norteamérica, este grande y hermoso país. Gracias por cada familia, Señor. Gracias por los niños, por los jóvenes, por los adultos. Gracias, Señor, por esta iglesia. Oro para que tú, Señor, les puedas seguir llevando adelante. Oro por cada desafío que ellos están enfrentando. Que tú los bendigas y los fortalezcas en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Yeah, man. I'd like to pray. Let's pray together. Let's pray together for Pastor Freddy too. Let's pray okay. for the church and for their ministry and for Heart okay. to Honduras. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this word. Uh, we need this word. God, you work in all things. You work in mm -hmm. every situation. Not just in what we consider as good, God, but even mm -hmm. in the difficult times. Mm -hmm. Father, I know it's a word that uh, we each need to hear in our own lives. Father, it's a word we need to hear as a church. God, you are working in this place. You are working through all the situations, through everything, God. You have a purpose here. And Father, I thank you for Pastor Freddie. I thank you for the ministry that he has in his church, in his community, in the leadership he has with Heart to Honduras and in the surrounding areas. Lord, would you uh, bless their church, Lord? Would you watch over them? Would you protect them during this time of, of need uh, in rebuilding after the hurricanes, uh, through this pandemic, God, where, where their situation is, is so much more challenging, Lord, would you just give him a strong voice and a courage to continue to lead with his people. Lord, we pray for the village of Las Lomitas and the partnership there that we have just begun and really haven't even gotten to go into deeper yet. Lord, may you establish that there. And uh, Father, may we have an impact there over the years to come as they have an impact on us. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Please give a hand to Pastor Freddie and to Jen. Thank you so much.